Hello, my name is Ella Lugosi and I am your hostess with the mostest. And today we're gonna be baking, which we haven't done in a while. We haven't been in my kitchen in a while. Um, happy Halloween. Here we are. We're gonna be making some Halloween Funfetti cookies today. This recipe I've done actually multiple times now. Uh, it's from I Heart Eating. I found it on Pinterest a long time ago and they are so good. They are so unhealthy for you. This is gonna be full dairy, full fat, full fucking everything. Because these are not for me. Now, my significant other and I have been, been actually, for the past couple nights, have been watching horror movies together. And so we're sitting in bed, you know, snacking and stuff. I have my healthy thing, which is either popcorn or sometimes I do pretzels and, or kale chip, you know, something along those lines. But for him, I'm going to be making him some cookies today because I thought might as well. It's really fun. This recipe is really easy. Uh, watch me fuck it up now that I said it's really easy. Okay. But yeah, I haven't baked in a while like this. So here we go. The first thing we're going to need is half a cup of butter and I already melted it inside of my bowl. Now you do not want this shit to be hot or else it's going to fuck up your entire recipe. Promise. <laughs> we're going to need Half a cup of granulate, granulated sugar. Not powdered sugar, granulated sugar. Do I really, I brought all over all my measuring spoons, but not my fucking half a cup. Okay. Get inside there. Boop. So, and then we're gonna do a fourth cup of brown sugar. I love brown sugar in my cookies. If I am, you know, when I make cookies, I typically always use brown sugar because they just turn out so nice. The molasses in your brown sugar, which it took me until like fucking like three years ago to actually realize that's why it's brown. I know, I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. So here we are. All right, so we're gonna need a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Using my imitation vanilla because I'm a cheap slut. So we're gonna boop that bitch in there. Very easy. We're gonna need one large egg. I have my Nelly's free range eggs because if we're gonna do it, we're gonna at least try to be ethical about this. Normally I get my stuff from a farm or I have a lot of the times previously, but right now, I'm just, ugh, should have got my, I'm just doing what I can. Okay, so we have one large egg. We're gonna need one and a three-fourths cup of flour. Okay, oh, come on. I have a container with my uh, healthy bitch flour, but Normally, I'm not using this unless I'm baking for other people. You know what I mean? And so, I don't have a three-fourths cup. So just do your one, four, three times. That is what I was taught to do. Because I am terrible at math. And with baking... Uh, requires sometimes a lot of math. And if they're not exact, then it's all fucked. And yeah, yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need half a teaspoon of baking soda. Again, I did not bring that one fucking over. Look how cute these are. Aesthetically pleasing, aren't they? How accurate they are because they are this shape, I do not know, <laughs> but half a teaspoon. There we go. Boop. Now, should I dump this all into one? Probably not. You're supposed to keep these things separate. Normally I do keep these things separate, but we're living dangerously today. When I fuck this up, it's my own goddamn, my own goddamn fault. Okay, so I did my baking soda. Now we need kosher salt. I am out of kosher salt. I just realized that. So I'm gonna be using my Himalayan salt and we're gonna hope for the best. Salt really brings out all of your good flavors 
Oh yeah. Okay. So put that bitch in there. And then we're gonna do half a cup of sprinkles. Now these are Halloween funfetti. So I now have my little Halloween little bit of happiness right there. And we're gonna need half a cup. So where's my half a cup? I left it inside the sugar because I'm a fucking trash person. Let's do a little mix of those. We're gonna do maybe some pumpkins and bats. bit of this one which is ghosts and bats and then just some sprinkles then this one is just ghosts with black sprinkles anybody who knows me I'm gonna top it off with the rest of these because I have a bunch of these up there and the goal was to get this one gone today okay so we did that Right in there. Wow, that looks so fun. Oh, I'm so happy. I hope he's gonna be happy. Okay. Let's get this bitch together. Right? Right. I should not have done this all in one bowl. But here we are. Actually, I'm gonna mix this all together off camera because I know you guys are not going to care. Okay. Once we mixed all that together, I saran wrapped my cookie dough. This is the tip that I've learned over the years. You're gonna wanna refrigerate your cookie dough. It is the best way to get the best kind of cookie, I promise. Some people do it for an hour, I do it for four. I know that seems pretty excessive, but I want my cookies to turn out as perfect as I can get it. Also, whenever I was mixing, uh, my shit wasn't wet enough, so what I did was ended up adding an egg yolk. Um, I don't, I don't remember why, like what is the reason for that exactly, but I do know it helps, it helps me whenever I make a cookie dough to do that. So if I needed it to be a little bit more easier to work with, I always end up adding an egg yolk. So I'm going to put this in for four hours and I will see you guys again for, in four hours. Well, hello, welcome back. It's been a bit. I went and worked out, had lunch. Um, yeah, like I cleaned up the house a little bit, cleaned up after myself, and now it's time to get inside this bitch, make some damn cookies. Now, I don't know how well these are gonna work because it's not as cold as I would like after fucking four hours, but we will see, and if I fail, then this whole video has been wasted and you just sat here and watched me did, you know, just sat here and watched me fuck up. I love that for you. So we're gonna preheat our oven. Make sure your oven's already preheated before you even start touching the cookie dough, cause that heat, you don't really wanna, you don't wanna fuck with the heat and the cookies, <laughs> promise. So, do, 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 do. Just gonna do this. They're gonna go into the oven for about 10 minutes. I always under bake my cookies a little bit so that way they're very soft. Cause it, as soon as you do it, if you over bake them, it's done. Like there's no coming back from that. No coming back from that. But so far they're really cute. I can kind of see the ghosties and the bats. Um, they're probably going to turn like a weird black color just because the seeping of all of the, all of the sprinkles, but you know, whatever. Okay. Let me just get this done now. Now I don't have enough room, which is okay. I will save that part for later. Now I'm going to pop these bad boys in the oven for about 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, so they are done and that's all they needed was 10 minutes and they're nice and they're fluffy and remember to let them sit. Don't immediately go and fuck with them or else they're gonna fall apart. Mmm. I love sprinkles. I love sprinkles so much. Mmm. 
And I love Funfetti. I think everybody does, though. Mmm. Okay, guys. That is a wrap on my Funfetti cookies. My Halloween Funfetti cookies. You guys want to see more baking content? Let me know. Because I like to bake. Especially for fall. Because now it's starting to get into the cozy season. We're all already trapped in our houses. And now it's going to be, you know, it's getting colder outside. At least we are in West Virginia. It's getting colder. I noticed it today whenever when I went out my, uh, my run. <laughs> it's a lot colder than before. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I know I did because now I have cookies. And I think Charlie will enjoy them too. At least I hope so. I think you will. Okay. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Have a peachy day. Stay ghoulish. Mmm. Cookies. If you guys make this recipe, let me know. Say bye, happy. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Bye.